Welcome to a brand new year in the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. I wish all of you the best in 2019. Now, this tutorial is based on a commercial that I saw for the NBA. It was using stop motion and lines that glow to create this cool Christmas light effect. And here we are creating this tutorial just for you. Now, if you like this, you enjoy this, give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let's get started. This is a very simple technique. You don't have to be an artist, which is a great thing. All we're going to do is trace. Now, you need to either take pictures or you need to, you need to take video. If you're taking pictures, take pictures of key poses. And obviously, if you're taking video, you have a lot of poses to choose from. So for this example, if we drill down, I'll show you some of the key poses that I took. I took three key poses. Number one, number two, and number three. So let's create a composition. Let's click on this icon. And I'm going to make it 1920 by 1080 and choose the best frame rate for your project. And for now, I'm going to give it a duration of five seconds. We can always go back and change this. Hit OK. And let's bring in the first picture. And I'm going to scale it down, S for scale. And let's scale it down to about 32%. I'm going to move this up. Perfect. And let's call this pose one. I'm going to make a copy, Control D to make a copy. Let's bring in the second pose, this one, and let's swap it. Perfect. Let's make another copy, Control D, and let's use a third one and let's swap. Okay, now what we're going to do to create that movement, that stop motion movement, we're going to cut between the three different poses. If you have five poses, you'll be cutting between the five different poses. If you have ten poses, you'll be cutting between the ten poses. Now, you're going to have to play around a little bit. For this one, I every five frames I was cutting. So you can experiment between two to three frames, four frames, maybe six, seven frames, but anywhere between maybe two to ten frames, experiment, see, the, you know, see which one works best for your, for your project. So let's go in here, let's zoom in, and let's go to frame five. And at frame five, let's trim pose two. So it starts right here. Let's, let's hide pose three for now. Let's trim it. So if we go back, we have pose one, two, and at frame 10, let's unhide pose three and let's trim it here so we can start seeing pose three. Perfect. So we got one, two, and three. Now you can see that it's not perfect. When we took the picture, you know, we were doing handheld, so it's not perfect. So take your time, put it so they're right on top of each other. There's no movement. I'm gonna skip this step for now so I can show you the technique of creating the lights. And you can see right here, this is the final one. You can see that it's, I lined it up perfectly and it looks amazing. Okay, now to create this technique of lights, we're going to use shape layers. One of the methods that you can use is you can create a solid using the pen tool to create a mask and then you can apply an effect called stroke to create this, this line effect. But I'm going to use shape layers, and the reason that I'm going to use shape layers is because it's, vect it's a vector, it's resolution independent, so you can scale it up as big as you want, you won't lose any resolution, and it allows you as a shape layer, as a vector, it allows you to do a lot more things than if you're using a solid and you just draw a mask and you apply the stroke effect. So let me show you how to do this. There's a couple little things that it's important to show you. So let's, for now, to show you, to illustrate the technique, let's go to the third pose, and let me zoom in. And the shape layer, make sure that there are no layers selected in your timeline. So let's deselect, let's click here to deselect, and let's go to the pen tool. You can use the pen tool, or you can use any of these shapes. But for now, let's go to the pen tool, and make sure nothing is selected, and let's start tracing the hat. So let's just click and drag, and the first click that I did, you can see that automatically After Effects created this shape layer. So let's continue to click. Okay, now perhaps if you're doing it for the first time, perhaps you'll get something like this. There's a fill and there's a stroke. What we're going to do is go to the fill and we're going to say no fill at all, none. So we take out the fill and go to the stroke and select none so there's no stroke at all. 
So we're going to take out the fill and we're going to remove the stroke. Now we can go and we can adjust these points so we can make this a little bit better. Okay, perfect. Now we want to continue and we want to trace the bill of the cap. Now what we're going to do is we want to do this on the same shape layer. So make sure that the shape layer is selected, go back to the pen tool and let's continue to draw to trace. So as long as you have the shape layer selected, it'll continue on that same shape layer. Now, one advice that I have for you is figure out what are the colors that you want in your final animation. For example, in this one, the hoodie was in red, the cap was in blue, the face was in a light blue. So all the layers that I wanted in red, I kept it in the same shape layer. So you can see right here, hoodie. And if I drill down, you can see I have 19 different shapes and it all consists of the hoodie and this is one layer the pants is a different layer so figure it out and what let's say the color green all the color green is going to go in one shape layer all the color blue will go in another shape layer you know all the color red will go in a different one so just figure this out okay so this one let's rename it and let's call it hat now if we drill down to the shape layer, let's go to contents and let's drill down. We have two different shapes, the first one, and we have the second one, which is the bill of the cap. And each one, we drill down, each one has a stroke. And we can outline this with a stroke. Now, you can do this. You can go, for example, put a stroke on this one, and let's go to the first one and do another stroke as well. But if you have, let's say, 20, 30 different shapes in that same shape layer, it's going to be very time consuming. So what I recommend is to use this following method. Let's add a global stroke to all of them. So let's undo for now. And that is why I told you to make the stroke none. What we're going to do is make sure you're on content, hit add, and go to stroke. And now we have this, this is kind of like a global stroke, and we can make it a little thicker and we can change the color and there you go so this will override everything and it'll be your global stroke now to create that effect of dots for example you can see that we have this little effect of dots let me show you how to do that one all you need to do is right here in the stroke let's drill down go to dashes and hit plus and you can see that it converted the line into dashes and you see this parameter dash, just bring it close to zero. And the closer you bring it to zero, it'll look more like dots. There you go. Now, if we zoom in, you can see that these aren't really dots. If I increase the stroke width, they're just lines. Now, let me show you how to make them round. Let's go back, let me undo. And for the line cap, we're gonna change it to round cap. And we're gonna go down. And for the dashes, click on the plus, and it's gonna give you one more option called gap. So for the dash, let's make it zero. And let me increase the stroke so you can see it a little bit better. Let's make it four. You can see now that they're round dots, they're circles, and you can play with the gap. Let's make it eight. You can make it eight or probably six. And that's how you make these circular dots for your lines. Okay, let's create another shape layer. So remember, every time you want to create a new shape layer, make sure that nothing is selected in the timeline. And let's go to the pen tool. And for this one, let's draw the glasses. Okay, let's click. And you can see automatically After Effects is creating another shape layer for us. And let's click, click, and let's close it. Okay, perfect. So let's go and draw the second lens. Actually, let's undo this. Let's go here. Okay, perfect. Now let's disable the stroke. Let's go up here and let's disable it. Let's go to the first one and let's disable it as well. Okay, now let's draw this little line. So to draw this little line, let's go back to the pen tool and let's draw the line. Now, 
to draw another line, if we want to draw this little arch right here and we go here, you're going to see that it's going to continue. It'll continue as long as we close the path. We close the path by clicking here in this little square and we close it. But for example, let's say you don't want to close this path. You want to leave this path open. This is the trick. If you want to leave it open, go to the selection tool, right? We can make some adjustments if you want and click outside and then go back to the pen tool and let's draw another curve. Perfect. So we have a couple different shapes. We have this shape for the lens, which is a closed shape. And we have these two lines, which is an open line. So just this is a little technique, a little trick for you to remember if you want to keep creating shapes inside the same shape layer. So this one will be glasses. And I'll show you one more example in case you're a little confused. OK, let's add a global stroke. And let's go. Let's change the color. Let's make it, for example, yellow. Perfect. OK, now let's do the face. OK, make sure nothing is selected. Let's go back to the pen tool and let's do the eyebrows. And this one, we want to leave it an open an open shape. So what I'm going to do is go to the selection tool, click here, and this kind of deselects everything and go back to the pen tool. And let's continue to draw the other eyebrow. Perfect. So again, this is an open shape. We're not closing it. So let's go back to the selection tool and let's go back to the pen tool. Let's draw the eye. Perfect. Again, so the arrow tool, selection tool, go back to the pen. Perfect. And we can also use any of these shapes too. We can go here, for example, for the eye. And we can bring this up. And let's do the nose. It's a little hard, but let's do our best job. OK, like I said, this is an open shape. So go to the selection tool. Let's click outside to deselect and go back to the pen tool. Now, we're going to close this shape. So once we close it, we, we don't have to go back to the selection tool. We can just continue and we can draw another shape. And this is an open one. So let's go to the arrow tool. Let's make some adjustments. Perfect. Click outside. Go back to the pen tool. Let's draw the mustache. Perfect. And let's do the ears. OK. And let's do the face. OK. So you see in this shape layer, we have 11 different shapes. And let's call this face. And make sure you click on contents. Let's add a global stroke. And this global stroke, let's change the color. Let's make it this color. Perfect. And let's hide the pictures, the poses. And there you have it. So this is a technique. and. Obviously, for these shape layers, since they're part of pose three, let's trim these layers so they're right here. And when we get to pose three, basically, you'll be able to see these poses. And let me show you my composition. And I'll make this available for you to download. So click on the description if you want to download this one so you can check it out how I built this. And you can see that, let me zoom out, pants. These are the pants right here. Got the shoes, the hoodie is this one. This is the hoodie layer. 
and the head for example the head is this layer and all I'm doing is just cutting between these three different poses one two and three that's all you're doing to create this you can add a glow you can add an effect you can add a background like I did and Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned a good technique. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new. Now, if you want to get started in the field of motion graphics, if you want to freelance, you want to make some money, definitely check out the book that I wrote. It's available on Amazon and I'm putting a link to that book in the description below. And amigos, always remember that life is truly a gift. So make it count.